Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question asks if I can analyze the Tommy Laren rant in which she has a number of unkind statements for men. Another question here would be, is Tommy Laren shallow? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. So on August 4, 2020, we see that the 27-year-old commentator, Tommy Laren, posts this video about how she's having some difficulty with men and how her friends are having difficulty with men. The video is titled, PSA for Boyish Men. I'll go through a quick summary of this video, and then I'll answer the questions. In this video, Tommy explains how she is a teacher and a helper. She believes that she inspires people to be better. It never ceases to amaze me how political commentators confuse their role with that of a teacher or someone who inspires others to improve. I think they certainly inspire people, but it's not always in a positive direction. I don't see how they can really equate themselves with teachers. I certainly support her right and everyone's right to say what's on their mind, but people like Tommy expand the role of commentator beyond what is supported by logic when they declare themselves to be teaching. I suppose there is some value in teaching people what not to do, but that doesn't really seem to be what she's saying here. So after this part, Tommy proceeds to offer this so-called public service announcement to all men. She makes this reference to cancel culture and talks about how this is the summer of canceling boys. She goes on to explain how all of her friends, who are between the ages of 24 and 36, are successful, attractive, and have something going on. It's hard to know what she means by this at first because it's quite nonspecific, but I believe she's talking about conscientiousness. Her friends are ambitious and motivated, so in a way this is really tied to the word successful and probably redundant. Either way, almost all of these amazing women have issues with men. So she's essentially saying that they're having all these issues and men are the problem. So already we see kind of a shaky premise here. She's running under the assumption that the problem is somewhere else. It's more logical to assume that both women and men contribute to the problems in relationships, but Tommy, on behalf of her friends, will not accept any responsibility. She then goes on to say that a lot of men between the ages of 20 and 60 are trash. It's interesting because at first she says 55, but then she decides it's 60. So it almost looks like she's thinking a bit like, well, maybe I was going to let that 55 to 60 crowd off the hook, but no, she extends it right to 60. I'm not sure what changes after 60. She never really discussed men over 60, but I found it interesting that she kind of paused on that. She then goes on to offer suggestions on how I guess the trash can be recycled. She's offering these helpful tips to men. So I'll go through a few of her thoughts here. She seems surprised that men sometimes misrepresent their relationship status when they attempt to date women. This is not new information. I'm amazed that she would find this surprising. Men and women will both go out and like be married and have other commitments and say that they are available. She said that women don't want to receive text messages without contact. She refers to this as attempting to be a pen pal. Under her thinking, men should make a plan. So a plan to like go out with women, not just communicate electronically. Then we see this interesting part of her video where she talks about how men should either date women who have something going on or date women who have nothing going on, but they should never mix the groups, right? So in Tommy's opinion, what's really offensive is not so much dating one group or the other, but trying to date both at the same time. If a man is dating more than one woman, why would it matter that the women are not homogeneous in regard to ambition and success? But for whatever reason, we see this is important to Tommy. She makes an appeal for men to be consistent. She reminds men that she will not warn them twice. So I guess they just get one warning. After that second warning, she's done. She's going to give up on the relationship. She also notes that if a man loses someone as good as her, they shouldn't complain. She has high standards and expectations, 
so it shouldn't be surprising she could reject any number of unacceptable mates. She said that beautiful, ambitious people like her deserve men who follow the rules that she sets forth, noting that it will be a cold day in hell before she chases a man. So what can we learn here about Tommy Laren? Well, as I talked about before, I don't know who she is as a person. All I see is this persona. And even within that, I only see a small percentage. Tommy has been featured in many videos. She really likes to talk a lot. There's no way that I could or would have any desire to watch all of those videos. I'm not sure I could actually survive watching all of them. One was painful enough. It, it did the job. So looking at the persona projected in this one video, what do we see here? Well, we see someone who is not shy about explaining just how valuable she is. We are reminded that she is intelligent, successful, ambitious, talented, really just outstanding in pretty much every way. And the real problem with men, in her opinion, is they simply cannot recognize her greatness. If they could just do that, they could solve all the problems that she's talking about. If men could just stop for a moment and look at Tommy Laren and say, now I understand that she is one of the most amazing people I could ever meet, again, their problems would dissipate. Her persona also does not seem to embrace logic. As I mentioned before, the entire premise of this video is that men must be the problem in a relationship that involves a man and a woman. Another logical error is overgeneralization. She and her friends experience some difficulties with men. Therefore, it must be true for everybody. The involvement of unnamed friends is a common tactic for people who think quite a bit of themselves. So essentially, Tommy's saying, look, it's not just me, it's everybody like me that feels the same way. And of course, we're just supposed to take her word for it. So what are my thoughts on the points that Tommy Laren tried to make, despite the logical problems? Was she touching on some type of truth in this video? Well, calling people trash is impolite and unnecessary for her to make her point about ostensible bad behavior. So she's engaging in bad behavior to prove that other people are bad. Again, doesn't really make sense. I think that men and women both treat each other terribly in romantic relationships. Nobody is without blame. I think if someone is having trouble with their romantic relationship, they need to look at themselves, the other person, and analyze how personality factors could be leading to problems. Sometimes it's not a matter of one person being bad. Sometimes people aren't a good match. They don't make a productive, happy, romantic couple. For example, people high in openness to experience rarely get along with people low in openness. The same thing for conscientiousness. If one person is narcissistic, that will also strain a relationship. I think what a lot of people do is they have this initial attraction to somebody else, and that attraction is very strong and based on physicality, intelligence, success, really many of the themes we see here in Tommy's video. And then because of this attraction, they really want to make it work. But the other person doesn't match with their personality. That doesn't mean the other person is bad. Successful romantic relationships are not really about polishing gems. They're about finding the right gem. Another note here with Tommy's take on relationships, she doesn't mention love, caring, romance. It all sounds very conditional and transactional, almost like she's saying, love me because of my accomplishments and don't love other people who have not accomplished as much. Very much like some type of exchange theory, like I'm valuable because of my rank in some type of romantic marketplace kind of a cold, depressing way to look at something like romance, not much emotional depth, which brings me to the concept of shallowness, the opposite of emotional depth. A key part of emotional or affective depth is the ability of a person to understand their own emotions and feelings and understand those of others. Another part is genuineness, a person's ability to be authentic. This construct is tied to openness to experience, Higher openness usually means more emotional depth, but not always. So with this in mind, is the behavior we see in Tommy Laren's video consistent with shallowness? Well, let's look at some of the tendencies of people who are shallow. 
people who are shallow tend to highly value physical attractiveness and be extremely offended when a romantic interest favors another less attractive person over them. Like they can't understand how people factor in other variables beyond physical attractiveness. People who are shallow determine their worth by how many material assets they have accumulated or by their potential to accumulate assets in the future. Shallow people are extremely talkative and say a lot of words without conveying actual knowledge. Shallow people tend to be narcissistic, like having a sense of entitlement, believing oneself to be special, being condescending, and having a grandiose sense of self-importance. People who are shallow tend to see life without shades of gray, so everything is black or white. Dichotomous thinking. They are very sure that what they are saying is correct. They're not much on analyzing carefully and coming up with a nuanced view of a topic. They tend to have a simplistic problem-solving approach, which of course always leads to more problems. So the content of this video by Tommy Laren seems to have some overlap with shallowness. Again, it's important to note that Tommy Laren may or may not be shallow. All I can see is her behavior in this one video, which may not represent who she is as a person. This could all be an act, for all I know. Tommy Laren offers a lot of definitive advice through her commentary. Much of it is politically charged. In the world of politics, critical thinking is not common, and it's rarely rewarded. It is a game of definitive and often illogical positions that must be maintained according to party lines. Interestingly, even though I'm critical of this specific video that Tommy made, she has adopted both conservative and liberal positions in her commentary, which has basically drawn the contempt of both sides. In a way, she's caused a lot of interesting discussions, albeit from a place that does not appear to have a high degree of emotional complexity. So those are my thoughts on the Tommy Laren rant about men. Please put any thoughts or opinions in the comments section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be interesting. Thanks for watching.